Western Brown, just cruising across the road. Hot night, it's too hot during the day. This is a brown color phase. Highly alert snake, you can see. It's about 35 degrees at the moment, so. It's definitely fired up. Definitely at the right temperature for hunting. And you can see he's a long, slender, fast moving snake. Oh, there he goes. As soon as I said fast moving, see that? Wow. There's also the mulga snake in this area, the king brown. And there's also a ringed brown. But this is the more sketchy, nervous type of serpent that you don't want to tangle with. Pseudonaja magdanen. Now, this is one of the species that our other old mate the king brown or mulga snake would eat if he had the opportunity. And these guys can be so many different colors and patterns. It's really hard to distinguish sometimes. Have a really black head or they can have a really pale head. They can be brown all over, cream all over. Once again, he's another diurnal daytime snake that becomes nocturnal in the summer months. And he loves eating rodents. And he'll also eat little mulgaras. So you can see, obviously, he's a slippery customer, this guy. He doesn't like sitting still. Very nervous, twitchy snake. Quite a fast moving snake. And these are the ones that will come into your house in search of rodents. So if you have chickens, if you have budgies and birds with bird seeds, etc. They will attract mice and mice will attract this snake. Just like his cousin, the, the common or eastern brown snake. They love to eat rodents. Awesome, there he goes, off in his natural habitat. See him cruise through the spin effects like that, it's quite amazing. They just go through it or over it, weave through it, weave around it. Highly adapted, slender, fast moving, awesome. Pseudo Naja, false cobra, but don't be fooled by the name. Definitely venomous. Woohoo, Western Brown, one of the most venomous snakes in Australia. Out cruising around at night time looking for a feed. Awesome stuff. Let's go and see what else we can find.